secures it. We'll have a face off to the right. Jared Hicks leans in and he will have new forwards with Robert Van Weinsberg towards his right end. Seth Rodsworth, Rodsworth, shot and score! Seth Ronsberg with the first Demons goal of 18.55 left to go in our first period. Great setup as Ronsberg, far hand side, close to the slot. He gets a little help as Hicks was moving it forward. Might have been touched by Van Weinsberg too. But as it last touch of Warriors stick through the legs of Hicks. Skinner holds on and Blair tries a shot. It bounces in traffic. Skinner can't pour it through, neither can Hicks. That puck bounces on top of the net and Brandon Blair sends it home. You know, I mentioned <coughs> as Brandon Blair finishes it off right in front of Brandon Billy, I think the puck flew over the top of the net and Billy is unable to do anything point blank as Brandon Blair picks up his first goal of 2014-2015, his first game after his three game suspension. Definitely welcome back for the physical defender, once nicknamed Teddy Blair in Danville, traded to Dayton <coughs> along with Robert Van Weinsberg for the rights for Nick Williams and Justin Brazen. Face off swatted around as we're back to the action. There's Hicks, shot and score! It's Jared Hicks receiving a nice fed pass in the slot, fires it past the far side of Brandon Billy and the Demons now lead three to nothing with 9.38 left to go in the first. This goal by Jared Hicks will be his seventh of the season. By Graham, but Martin New traps it up for Morin. Morin on the rush, near hand side, trying to find Aiken. There's Ronsberg, shot and score! Ronsberg with his second tonight. Seth Ronsberg, good pass fed up to him on the far side in the faceoff circle, ships it home, and the Demons have a 4-0 advantage with 16-15 left to go in the second. Pell Shada Marks, and the look at their escort out. Here's Van Weinsberg connecting with Sicard. Sicard, Ronsberg, here's Van Weinsberg slot back, and it goes! Wadsburg with a Hattie! The doorbell rang. Brandon Billy saw with Seth Ronsberg, and Ronsberg gets the package through. And the Demons have a 5 nothing advantage. 14.09 left to go in the second period. And Ronsberg with a hat trick. That's his third tonight. Picks it up by the Zamboni entrance. Skinner off the ankle of Rob Morton and Morton will take charge. Morton tried to get the pass off. Dustin Skinner with a stick on his left ankle and Skinner freed it. And now it's Hicks. Skinner shot. Goal! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all goals are well earned, but that one for Dustin Skinner deserves. An extra star around that circle as Skinner broke it away from Rob Morton in the near face-off circle. Kareem's with on the near-hand side. Jared Hicks frees it forward. 
as Skinner takes it to Brandon Billy. And that is all she wrote for tonight of uh, Brandon Billy. Six nothing Demons, Dustin Skinner with the score. And a new goalie quickly coming in on his skates. Levesque in his three registered games on the pregame notes has yet to register a point with Steel City. He had one assist in his time with Danville. There's a quick shot, and right now Brandon Blair has dropped the gloves with Eggers Ozelitz. A battle of former Danville Dashers happens right by the Demons bench. Here comes Brandon Blair. Blair avoids a hit off his chin, and Brandon Blair will take Eggers Oslitz on his knees. Brandon Blair will trap Eggers Oslitz in his armpits, and Brandon Blair has won the fight. And Eggers Oslitz and Brandon Blair will share a slap of the hands on a high five, but they will also share something else, five minutes for fighting. Like I mentioned before, Brandon Blair and Eggers Oslitz Start off with the Danville Dashers last year. For Blair was traded off. Blair pumps up his arms in the arms towards the stands. He gets a lot of noise from the fans. They are happy he is back in a demon sweater. Definitely a physical personality to him. Had a real great fight against Phil Granger of the Wolves where Granger only got about three shots on Blair, and Blair just really poured in the hits. Definitely, definitely a fan favorite in that category, as both gentlemen have been escorted out. There's 4.37 left in the second, so both gentlemen can come out early in the third if you play your cards right. Two Warriors approach the flank though. Here's one Hicks now gets a pass off. Rodsberg shoots and scores! <laughs> First goal allowed tonight by Dalton McGrath. After coming in relief of Brandon Billy, he was solid in the second period. He's been very solid since coming off the bench, giving up his first goal as a Steel City Warrior. And the Demons now lead seven to nothing, eight and a half left in our third. Seth Ronsberg picks up his fourth goal in the night. He's got 11 in 2014-2015. Meanwhile, Ronsberg looking for five now. And Ronsberg gets it bumped away on a check. Meanwhile, here's MJ Graham taking it up, and he scores the first Warriors goal of the night. MJ Graham, he scores the goal right after the Demons put up their seventh, and the shutout is over for Curtis Martineau. MJ Graham, he now leads the team with five goals, and it's 7-1 to Demons, 7.45 left in the third. An interesting fact about MJ Graham as the Demons led two to nothing at Bell Vernon, Pennsylvania, the Rostover Ice Garden. Demons had two nothing lead and then MJ Graham scored the first home goal of the season. He's quiet. For TJ Constant off his skates. He's past McPherson. Here's Constant shot. Nice save. Nice save by Matt Graham, but wait a minute. The referee holds up his hands. The light went off on the far hand side. Skinner points over towards the line judge saying, hey, that went off. He saw the puck cross. Matt Graff with a good dive on it. Right now the two are talking. It looks like they're going to take their expertise to the line judge behind the glass. 7-1 Demons, 3-0-2 left to go in the third. A very close play right now as that was TJ Constant pulling the shot, and Dalton McGrath lands on top of it. And did the referee just say that goal counted? He's talking in the scoreboard window. 
That's a goal! Matt Graff did all he could, jumping on top of it, but the puck does cross the line, according to the line judge behind the goalie. And it's now eight to one, Demons. 3.02 left in the third, and TJ Constant will pick up his third goal in a Demons sweater. Right now, as the Warriors will backtrack it into the neutral zone to push it forward. Now controlled by Ryan Alves. Shot bounces high at the glass. Martineau. And there's a score. Martin who pulled out of his crease. And I want to say that might be Tattern with the score. Warriors strike again. And that is actually Nicola Levesque pouring it in. It's eight to two, Demons. 107 left in the third. off the backboards and that's the game your final score tonight the Dayton Demons 8 and the Steel City Warriors 2 Demons approved to 7-1-1 one, one on the season Steel City falls to 0-5-1 and, and their young 2014-2015 campaign stay with us folks as we recap the third period and the game and bringing you the stars of the game presented to you by Premier Health. Premier Health proud to be partners with the Dayton Demons, the talented team of sports medicine and orthopedic physicians, certified athletic trainers and rehab, rehabilitation specialists at Premier Health. They're dedicated to keeping the Demons on the ice and in play. With comprehensive programs geared toward di dialysis, evaluation and treatment, as well as valuable guidance on injury prevention and performance improvement. It's just one of the things we do, reducing the risk of all injuries from happening, repairing them if they do happen. It's just one part of Premier House full continuum of award-winning care. We'll be back after this. Demons win eight to two. Stay with us, folks. You're listening to the Gem City Sports Network and you're watching live on FHL Live, presented to you by Point Streak. Hey, America. We